welcome back to another video. So this video is going to be all about how to get the perfect summer date night makeup. So this makeup came out so pretty. You can actually use this makeup for literally anywhere. Like it doesn't have to be a date or anything like that. But I love how bronzy and just like matchy matchy it looks. So if you want to see how I achieved this makeup look, definitely keep watching. And as always, don't forget to shine bright because it's low Hollywood time. Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a summer date night makeup look. I wanted to do a full face from start to finish, show you guys how I would do my makeup if I was going on a date. So I'm looking a little extra with all these jewels because I'm like, you know what, I want him to know I'm extra from the beginning. So let's get started. So I already just kind of did my brows a little bit. I just added some clear brow gel. So I'm going to go ahead and just prep the skin. I added a little bit of this Farsali Gold, um, Rose Gold Elixir. It's just going to kind of help hydrate my skin a little bit because you don't want to be crusty, especially if you're going to be like real close to him or her. You don't want to be crusty. I'm using a little bit of the Professional Poreless Primer. And this is just going to help reduce the appearance of the pores. Again, you don't want them to see all your big pores. So I usually like to add it to my center here of the face. That's where I have the most pores. And a tiny bit here on the chin. I'm going to use some of this infallible um, full wear concealer by L'Oreal just to prep my eyelids. Okay, so my eyelids are nice and prepped and today we're going to be using the Dose of Colors Friendcation Palette Desi Times Katie. I love this palette. It's so beautiful and it's so glamorous. I love this. So this is what we're going to be using today. So let's start with our crease. We want to just kind of warm it up just a tad. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of this shade right here and a nice fluffy brush and just kind of start to work it into the crease. I feel like I'm really digging my outfit today, you guys. I spent a little bit more time on it. I was like, okay, before I shower, let me go ahead and, you know, throw a little outfit together. I threw it all on my bed and I was like, okay, I'm gonna wear these shoes, I'm gonna wear these accessories. And I feel like, you know, like, I'm just like, okay, okay, I still got it. So definitely check out my Instagram. I'll leave it linked down below. And, and it's also on my YouTube page um, next to the banner. So in case you guys want to check it out, I'm going to be posting a lot more fashion looks on there. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm just building up this color. And actually, you guys, I love this brush. This is the Morphe. M521 brush. I don't think I've ever really used it, but it's really, really dense and really big. And I'm literally just stamping the color on, and I absolutely love it for this. So, this is my next go to brush, I think. So, now I'm gonna go ahead and take this beautiful shade right here. This is such a beautiful shade. I love it so much. Um, it's like a gold champagne shade, but so pretty. Oh my god. It has beautiful reflex. It just shimmers and glows to the gods. So I'm going to be applying this right here in the very inner corner of the lid and drag it just a tiny bit up just so it can sparkle a bit. Oh, so basically where I was going with the whole outfit situation is that it's actually kind of very neutral-ish. So I kind of want to keep the eyes and the face with that same theme, nothing too loud or crazy. So I'm like, let me do some neutral today. Okay, super pretty. I think I'm going to go ahead and go in with this beautiful red shimmer shade. I'm using the same brush and that one's just going to go right next to that one. Ooh, that's so pretty. I 
And this brush, you guys, is the Morphe E17. It's a really, really nice pointed blender brush and it's really small too. I'm kind of stamping it on as opposed to dragging the color just so I get the most color payoff. Ooh, that looks so pretty. I'm gonna grab more of that first champagne color just to kind of merge the two together here. I don't want there to be any harsh lines. Oh, I love that. Okay, so now let's kind of smoke out this outer corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this darker brown right here. I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna just start to pack it on this outer corner and start to merge it to that red that we just added. And whatever's left over, just start to bring it a little bit up into the crease. I'm gonna go into this darker shade now, which is the darkest of the palette. And same brush again. And this is gonna go in the very, very outer corner, outer V of the eye. Don't worry too much about the blending right now. We'll blend it in just a second. We just wanna make sure we get that pigment on there. Ooh, that looks so pretty, I love it. Okay, so make sure you go ahead and clean off your brush so that there's no more product on there. I usually just use a little towel for this part and then you're gonna take that brush that has no product and just start to diffuse the edges so they don't look harsh. I kinda go in in circular motions back and forth Okay, so I kind of want to do a wing for this look, so let's do a black wing. I'm going to use my Tartiest um, pen. This is just the duo side one. And we'll like, we're just going to make a wing. I need to get a new um, black eyeliner because I feel like this one's kind of running out. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and I added some mascara to my top lashes and now we're going to add some lashes because we want our eyes to be super flirty. So these are going to be the Batty Bee Lashes in Style Saucy. These are so pretty, you guys. They're like dramatic but not like overly dramatic. I don't know. They're just so pretty. So I'm going to pop these babies on. Okay, so the lashes are on. I also added a little bit of this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Yogurt to my waterline. And it just gives me the most beautiful, like, metallic finish. It's so pretty. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of shadow down there. So I'm going to use this darker one right here, right underneath. So pretty. I love this color. And then I'm going to take this little brush. This is the Morphe M578. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into this lighter brown. And just start to diffuse the edges a bit. For foundation, we're going to use this Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and just blend it out. So there's the foundation. I love this foundation because it's super, super matte and it's not going to budge or go anywhere because we don't want to melt off. I'm going to use the Infallible L'Oreal um, Concealer. loose powder and just set everywhere where we added the concealer
for the rest of my skin, I'm using this MAC C3.5 Studio Fix Powder. And then for contour, I've been loving this one by Morphe. This is the Face and Body Bronzer in shade Mastermind. It's so good, you guys. I love this one. We're going to use this one by Tarte, and this one is called Blissful. I want my cheeks to be super rosy. I just love rosy cheeks. For highlight, we're using this one, Devotion, by Laura Mercier. I love this one. It's so stunning. I used this one in my last video, and I'm just like obsessed with it. So I'm like, let me use it again. It's such a beautiful iridescent pink shade. I love it. Okay, let me add a little bit more of this shade right here to the lower lash line because it kind of got lost a bit. And I want it to be very smoky. So pretty. Make sure you wipe down your brush because you don't want it to have any more product. And then we're gonna work on the inner corner. Of course, for the inner corner, I have to use the beautiful champagne gold shade. So I'm gonna grab some of that and just kind of stamp it here in the inner corner. Ugh, oh, that's so beautiful. Let me just fill my brows in a little bit. This is just the shade plus Shade Plus Shade Brow Tint by MAC in, sh in Shade Fling. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of strokes. Okay, I don't know what to do for lips. I wanna do something hot. <laughs> something hot, since we're going on a date. Um, let's see. Let's do this NYX Pencil in Shade Nude Truffle. I want to make my lips kissable, but remember, we don't kiss on the first date. Okay, I love that color, so pretty. I'm gonna use this Naturally Transformed Lipstick by MAC. I love this color, it's so, so pretty. Look at that, so pretty. That is so pretty, I love that shade. Okay, and then I've been doing this to my lips and I feel like it's made such a huge difference. So you're gonna wanna get kind of like a flat brush, so I don't know, something like this. And just your powder, and you're just gonna clean up against the edges. I know it's nothing like out of this world, but I never used to do it. And ever since I started doing it, I just feel like my lips just look so much better. Like, so clean, so kissable, so much more poutier, so I love it. So I just like to kind of clean up a little bit. Clean up my little mole. I always forget to do this. And then in pictures, it just looks weird. Like if I don't clean it up, it just looks like, I don't know. So I'm like, I need to clean it up. So we're pretty much almost done. I'm just gonna add some lower lash mascara. I am really liking that NYX pencil in the waterline. I feel like it makes such a difference. I'm like looking at it right now and I'm like, wow, it looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. 
Okay you guys, so this is the final look. Don't forget your setting spray because you don't want your face to melt off. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like it came out so pretty, like super glamorous, super bronzy. And of course you can wear this to anything. It doesn't have to be a summer date. It could be to literally anywhere. And you can wear anything to your date. You can kiss on the first date, <laughs> whatever you like. I'm just doing this video because I thought it was kind of fun. But yeah you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this content. And of course don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already that way you can be part of this Hollywood star family I usually upload every week two to three videos a week so make sure you have those post notifications on and I will see you next time bye